Let's see the MIDI tab in sampler. So I'm gonna load a kick here. Let's go uh, to the chop and swing pack, samples, one shots, drums, let's load a kick. Let's loop it. So we actually turn it into a synthesizer, just one cycle of a waveform. Let's snap it. So we don't have any clicks. Let's loop it. That's some crossfit. Okay, let's go to the MIDI tab. So the MIDI tab allows you to get access to all the expression controls on your keyboard and even the pitch band range. So first of all, the pitch band range by default is set to five semitones. You can change it from here up to 24, two octaves. And this is true also for the simpler. So if you're starting out in the simpler, uh, you won't see anywhere to change the pitch band range here. Uh, and that's because it's only available inside sampler right here under the MIDI tab. So here, uh, each expression control can be routed to two destinations. For example, key, the key tracking, velocity. So for example, let's choose velocity and choose uh, the filter frequency. So now bring it up. And let's go to the filter and close it a tiny bit. So now it matters how strong I hit the note. And that's going to open and close the filter. And we can have velocity routed to another destination. For example, uh, the, let's go with the pitch. So now it's going to change the pitch. Depends on how strong I hit the note. Let's reset them. We also have the off velocity, so note off. Uh, this can do a few interesting things, but first we gotta bring up the release. So we have some more sound in the note off. And now the note off, for example, we can have it, let's say, filter. So we can hear uh, the filter closes when we turn off, when we release the note. Let's reset those. We also have aftertouch. This uh, depends if your uh, keyboard supports it. My current keyboard doesn't support it, but if you have pressure sensitivity, you can route it to uh, all the dest two destinations. We have the mod wheel. So the mod wheel, we can change it to, for example, filter frequency. So now, let's make it more emphasize the effect. Let's close the filter can do the same thing for foot control if you have it connected. And for pitch bend, you can change the pitch bend instead of changing just pitch. Let's bring down the pitch bend range. So now it doesn't do anything. We can change it. For example, let's do the loop start. Let's bring up the amount. And let's change the loop to be very short. As you can see, as I move the pitch bend, it changed the starting of the loop. Nice. And that's it. If you click on the sampler, it just shows you all the developers and people who are associated with it. Uh, so that is the MIDI tab in the sampler. Very useful to get access to all the expression controls on your keyboard.